Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to The Wolf Den in the Raw, an experimental, uncut, and unedited, totally naked, pre recorded bonus bonus footage of me building and furnishing new homes in the Wolf Den town. Welcome back to One Wolf in the Raw, and I'm guessing this is episode 26, part 16 of this particular building. And this is a friendly reminder just to check out my Facebook page for screenshots. And, oops, oh, there we go. And there is today's screenshot, which will have been posted yesterday or even a couple of days before. I don't really know what my uh, Facebook uploading schedule is going to be like, but... The screenshots will definitely be going up before the videos are uploaded. That is a guarantee. Or at least I will try and get the screenshots out. I know that every, at least every other episode I'm reminding you guys to check the Facebook page, so that reminds me as well to upload the screenshots that I've been taking. And as an incentive, I have been, or I will be, posting those screenshots before the episodes come out. So you guys kind of get a preview of, of where I'm going with everything. Um, not, it's, I'm not going to upload them too far ahead, even though I am recording as much of this on the same day as I can. But I've already filled up one hard drive and currently working on a second hard drive. And we shall see how much I can get out. You know what? I'm going to try doing this with the shift button. Oops. It would help if I actually had wood in my inventory slots. Okay, there we go. We can just hold shift and walk backwards. And try and figure out what to talk about for this particular episode. Um... I'm not sure if anybody at this point has figured out what I'm building. And if you have, congratulations. Good job. Um, don't tell anybody else. No, just kidding. Um, sure. Let uh, let everybody know what what's going on. That would be very cool. But I am guessing that after 16 episodes of watching me build the same thing over and over, and with some of the clues that I'm dishing out in each episode, that somebody will have figured out what this building actually is, or was intended to be, or modeled after, not actually intended to be. Um, it's more of an inspiration. The base floor plan is not 100%. It's very close. Some of the basic shapes that were used in designing the floor plan for this structure are still here. So you could probably do a, a Google search and after a while, probably just based off the floor plan, figure out what it was. But I believe it's actually a three-story building. Not 100% certain on that. It could have more stories to it that I'm not aware of, but just looking at the outside of the building, I would guess that it's three stories. Or at least it has three sets of arched windows like this. There's a lot of interesting features in this particular building, which is why I chose it as an inspiration. It's got a lot of interesting features, and uh, 
some of the features are just not possible in Minecraft. Um, certain Romanesque uh, statues, statuesques, are just not possible to do in Minecraft on a small scale. Um, for statues in Minecraft, they're usually gigantic things and made out of wool, which I don't understand. Statues should be made out of stone or metal, <laughs> in my opinion. That's what they were made from in the past. Um, ever heard of something called the Colossus? It was a giant copper statue. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was a statue of Apollo? I don't know. Could be wrong. It was either Apollo or Zeus or something like that. One of those guys. But... The, uh, I believe it was a Greek, a Greek statue. I don't know. I just remember it was made out of copper. And because it was made out of copper, it got torn apart and looted <laughs> and destroyed. Didn't last very long. So, as far as giant statues go, I think they should be made out of stone or some kind of shiny metal. <laughs> that would be a lot of gold. It would take a lot of gold to make a giant statue. Um, I did see a server recently. I'm forgetting who it was, whose server it was, but they had made a massively huge statue of Anubis in the desert. And I thought that was really cool. They actually made it out of sand and standstone. Um, he had a giant wooden cane in the Egyptian style with the crook on the end of it. It was very, very cool. Um, you could climb up inside of it. It had glowing eyes, too. <laughs> it was a really, really cool-looking statue. And no, they didn't make it out of wool. They made it out of sandstone, which I thought was very appropriate at the time. I'm still trying to think of... CoStar, I believe, is whose server it is. Yeah, CoStar. I don't know if he's still producing any... YouTube videos or not. I haven't looked in on his... Sorry about that. I'm still having some itchy nose problems tonight. Probably gonna have a cold all day tomorrow. It's usually what happens. Itchy nose at night, cold the next day. Um, but yeah, I was just saying I uh, haven't really looked in on CoStar's channel recently. So... I don't know how he's been doing, but I do know he has a server up and running. I don't know what it takes to get on the server, whether it's invite, invite only, or kind of like the uh, Minecraft fan server is, uh, I believe they give out access to contest winners or I don't know how that all works. <laughs> I don't go on to a lot of servers. Not much anymore. Um, I do still stop by Shanks at Dawn every once in a while. Uh, the other day we were playing... Uh, or shooting cannons from pirate ships and blowing each other up. That was a lot of fun. It took me a while to figure out how their cannons were working. I prefer my own cannon design. The automated redstone. Ah! And I just jumped right through the. <laughs> Great. Oh boy. Yeah, I prefer my own automated cannon systems. 
with the uh, uh, redstone relay for a timer so that you don't have to recalculate your range every time. But still, it was a lot of fun. Um, might have to record some of those episodes sometime playing pirate ship. Okay, first day, or not the first day, the sun is going down on the day, and this episode will be coming to a close pretty soon. It's half over, actually. And I still have yet to decide on a pattern to put in the floor. I think what I'm going to have to do is sleep on it. And once I do, I'll probably come back and tear up the floor again. But pretty much want to get the basic structure of this building complete before doing a whole lot of furnishing. I still don't know what kind of furniture I want to put in it. Sorry for the nose again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm expecting it to take at least a couple of episodes to finish up this floor here. So I will probably break off recording for the rest of the night once this floor is done. Oh boy, almost jumped in the hole again. <laughs> and pretty soon we're going to start getting some more enemies coming along. Because there's no torches on this floor at all. The problem with building big structures up in the air is if you forget to t torch them, you see, there's a creeper already. Should I try and shoot him from here? Missed. Got him. Got him. And I'm not even going to go bother, bother to go and pick up his loot. If he even has any. Okay, there's that portion of the floor. Um, let me find out where the torches are going. I think there's one right there in the center. There is the center. So it would be there. Yeah, I think. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just go down the line from here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Great. We got some buddies, some friends. Stop moving. Yeah, I've still got more than enough uh, arrows. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So we'll go pick up this stuff anyways. Okay. One. Can't even see. This is what I'm going to use the dirt for. Two, three, four, five. do this the easy way. We'll go like this. Hopefully I don't run into any nasties along the way. Looks clear so far. Oops. <sighs> mm. Oops. Goes there. that and then like that and like that I believe like that now I probably should fill in this area too yeah let's do that And I know before I actually start constructing the walls on the second floor, I'm going to have to take a look at the pictures again to see if this side section goes all the way up to the third floor or it just has two floors or, or what it is. I'm not entirely sure how it's laid out. I'm guessing that it contains all three floors in it. But I don't really know. I don't remember. The last time I actually looked at any of the photographs was months ago. Many, 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 <laughs> many months. <laughs> oh, let's see. That, like that. There we go, and then we'll start putting down some torches. Four, torch. One, two, three, four. Dirt makes a great measuring tool. <laughs> Especially when you have difficult to measure or see blocks. Um, I find counting in snow to be a lot easier, but some of these lines are confusing me. So there is the first half of the flooring. I think I'll leave the pillars that way, the way they are. Um, you know what? You know what? I will get back to that in the next episode just had a thought and you guys will have to wait to find out what it is so see you next time thanks for watching bye bye